that you have to send to it uh, to the machine. Machine will understand that whatever you have drawn, whatever CAD model you have drawn in the computer according to that it will uh, impinge the material in the workpiece and according to that you get the output. Okay. Next, uh, additive manufacturing, Add addition or deposition of material to create the final shape in required material also called as 3D printing, unique low quantity customized design. Okay. So, obviously, we will use some low quantity unique whatever design we want to uh, create we can create by the help of 3D printing and customized design whenever we want to edit that component we can easily edit that component by the help of CAD model. CAD model we can go to the CAD model and just uh, uh, means uh, change the dimension and uh, all and we will get the final product. Now come to the next diagram. This is the diagram of 3D printing. You can see first we have to design. Okay. After that we have to go to the software. Software also we have to add material means after um, designing we have to give uh, it to the software then material we have to add then machine 3D printer then finishing and then we will get the final part. We will uh, discuss uh, briefly about it first uh, come to design part. So, obviously, first comes the design. In designing part first having a design a CAD model or a 3D design that you actually want to build designed on a computer. This can be done through any standard CAD software okay, like Autodesk, SolidWorks, Creo or even Microsoft Paint is now coming up with 3D design software. So, anything that you can think of which you can use to create a 3D design, you can, uh, you can easily design it by the help of this software or other uh, you can use a scanner also to scan an object and after that you can take a printout. Okay. The next thing is come is your software. So, once with software you have to use once the CAD model is ready need to put in a specific software. Now, why uh, I mentioned software separately because this software is essentially machine specific. Okay. The 3D printer specific software, what this software does is reads that CAD file, create it those multiple layers which have to be deposited one over another. Then create those cross sections and then create the path for the deposition mechanism either a nozzle or a inkjet printer head or anything which will deposit the material. So, obviously, here you uh, here we can use three important two important point is there is nozzle a inkjet okay so these are very very important so by the help of nozzle what will uh, do the nozzle impinge the material whatever material you put into the machine that uh, by the help of this nozzle or inkjet it will impinge on um, whatever required output we, we want to get by the help of this nozzle we can get that. Okay. Now machine 3D printer eventually it is needed to be fed into the 3D printer other than the design and the tool path is the material itself which material you are printing it in there are multiple form of multiple material shape material multiple type of material and the material could be powder be wear be solid chunk so different types of material we can use that is now you can see here there is a powder we can you can use powder we can use wear we can use solid chunks or we can even use plastics in 3D printing machine 3D printer. This type of material are eventually used in 3D printing machines. Okay. So, obviously, whenever your software is uh, means your CAD model is ready. So, your main part is to send it to the 3D printing machine. So, you have to convert that CAD model into dot STL file format. After that, you have you have sent to send that CAD model to the obviously to the computer. Okay. So, what type of material you can use? You can use a wear, a solid chunks, a powder you can use. So, this type of material you can use in 3D printing machines. Now, the machine or the 3D printer, it will take the software data as well as 
it would take that hardware which is the material have a power source and then just deposit as it told so that just like people used to say for computer there are garbage and garbage out machines also is garbage and garbage out if you don't have a good design in you won't get a good design obviously what type of design you have drawn according to that you will get the output if your design is not good so obviously your printing uh, means you will not get getting a good object okay if you, you are not getting a good type of quality of object so your design will be sp specific good according to that you will get the 3d object okay so obviously good design you have to ma make a good design and according to that you will get the output next last point is finishing now i have already told you that in finishing part if you if we have given any type of support or we uh, want some time of finishing in the object we can use by the help of this finishing uh, step now the printed part or the additively manufactured part has to go through certain finishing operation because the build quality at time is equivalent to some of the conventional manufacturing process like casting but people need much more finer and smoother surface so obviously if you want any smoother surface or finer surface you have to do that in your finishing part so finishing part you have if, if you have given any type of support that you have to remove and uh, with the help of some type of liquid you can give uh, finer and smoother surface to your object okay so 3d printing also has its own constraint now this constraint will determine how your finishing operation has to be and what finishing operation has to be implemented once you have done everything and the final part so whatever you have designed initial 3d cad parts or whatever software you have designed according to that you have to you have according to that you have get the objects okay so obviously whatever design you will create suppose i will create a cylinder so first we will i i will draw a with the help of autocad i will draw a circle okay after that i uh, means the uh, after that that 2d model i have to convert into 3d model in 3d what we i will do i will create it into the cylinder after that uh, i have i want to change that file format to dot stl then i can send now to the 3d printing machine 3d printing machine and take the print out so these are the steps as you know that I, we have already discussed here first uh, again i will tell you means we have to clearly visible here we have to create a design after that we will send to the software okay dot st in dot stl file format here also we have to add some type of materials after that what will happen the mach ma machine will read that uh, machine will read that uh, whatever software or whatever material you have given machine will read that and according to that it will create the object and after that what we will uh, do we if we given some type of support to create that object we have to remove that uh, support and after that we will get the final part so these are the uh, steps uh, for the additive manufacturing or 3d printing now current trends what are the current trends available means where this additive manufacturing or 3d printing are used so basically these are used in healthcare transportation construction manufacturing and machineries so these are the sectors uh, where healthcare uh, means in healthcare in transportation construction and manufacturing these are the sectors where we use 3d printing machines so for example if we go to the healthcare uh, for example now you can see in the image now uh, you can see in the image that in covid situation in this covid situation there is a uh, means uh, shortage of mask so to avoid that shortage we can uh, by the help of 3d printing we can create this type of mask and uh, it will be useful in this covid situation means the 3d printing is a very uh, good day, means good for this mask and there is a ventilator splitter means this is a type of converter okay uh, by which we can convert that oxygen level to many of the patient means if we are with the help of this splitter we can convert that oxygen to two to three patients so this is manufactured by the help of 3d printing 3d printing by the help of this 3d printing we can eventually we can create a mask this type of mask by the help of a cad model and uh, 
you can eventually see that uh, here is a splitter we can with the help of the splitter we can uh, split the oxygen to many patients. So, these are the examples where in the healthcare there are some more videos we can see that also. Now see here, this is the face shield, this is the face shield which has been created with the help of 3D printer. So obviously what happened, it will created by the, this is the CAD model they have designed and after that, it uh, after that it will convert to STL file format and you can clearly see that this material is created layer by layer. So according to your CAD design, it will be created, means layer by layer it will be created and after that the final product will be a face shield. So, in COVID time we require lot of face shields. So, with the help of this 3D printing we can easily get the this face shields easily. Okay. So, this is the one type of applications of this 3D printing we can easily create a 3D means face shields and another is your mask. You can see here This is a one kind of mask which is created by the help of this 3D printing. You can easily see, uh, see that that nozzle is creating impinge the material layer by layer and what will happen? We will uh, get a final product as a mask. So, this is the mask eventually which is created by the help of the 3D printing. Okay. Now, this is also an example of tooth implantation uh, means uh, this is also possible by the help of this 3D printing. Now, you can clearly see that the tooth implantation uh, has been done then this uh, the total thing is created by the help of the 3D printing machine. The 3D printing machine created the tooth implantation by the help of this the dentist is able to put the teeth in the uh, uh, in the patient. Okay into the patient. So, easily by the help of this 3D printing you can create an object and uh, teeth, tooth implantation will be possible here. Okay. Now, come to transportation. So, as we know that there will be uh, this 3D printing is also possible in transportation area, it is also possible in construction area. So, how this machine created? So, this metal means transportation also. So, you can also see this also that there is a video there. Now see, uh, this is a car factory obviously and uh, this is the world largest 3D printing machines, world largest 3D printing machine. So, whatever that means they have created a car by the help of 3D printing machine. So, whatever they, they, uh, they will do, they will create a CAD model first. So, obviously, they will create a CAD model according to that the 3D printer created the base. First, they, uh, they, you can see here that the material is deposited layer by layer. The according to your CAD model, the axis will move okay? and we will get the final objects. So, entire base is created by this 3D printing machines. After that, you can use a conventional machining or CNC to uh, manufacture this car. Okay? where it is required. So, the entire thing is created by this 3D printing machines. So, obviously, first you can clearly see that this is the CAD model they have designed means uh, they have designed differently. Okay. After that, lastly they assemble that whole part. This is the CAD design and according to that layer by layer formation is been generated.
and the final product is here you can see that this is the final product okay this is the final car product which has been created by the help of 3d printing machines so uh, from this video it is clear that also that 3d printing machine is also beneficial in transportation sector also now third uh, third uh, point is construction if uh, means in construction area also we can use 3d printing machines okay because uh, if we want to uh, means build a house in india there will be a lot of cost we will we have to invest lot of cost uh, in labors okay we have to give lot of money to the labors so to uh, means uh, to avoid that we can use 3d printing machines in construction area also so if we go to the construction part means this is the construction part you can easily see here so obviously the material has been added and according to that home construction is been possible the, the total uh, 3d printing machines created by layer by layer after one layer is completed then it will go to the second layer according to the design it the axis will move and the formation will be created by layer by layer so you can see that how uh, 3d printing machine is beneficial in everywhere like in construction area also it will be beneficial for us because we don't have to pay more amount of money to the labors uh, so to avoid that we can use 3d printing machines uh, to build a house house or home whatever you can create in the construction area also it will be beneficial for us next uh, next you can see that here also we can manufacture manufacture any object there is a hand also present here which is very flexible we can also create this by the help of cad model and uh, after that that uh, we will get the final product so these all are possible by the help of the 3d printing or additive manufacturing so what are the advantages of additive manufacturing so first advantage is accelerated prototyping so am expedites product development by enabling the creation of many varying prototypes that can be produced faster and cheaper in comparison to lengthy traditional methods so obviously uh, we will not depend on the tra lengthy traditional method there is a lot of time will be taken by the lengthy traditional pro pro process to, to avoid that am is uh, very good for that in that uh, comparison so several prototypes can be printed before committing to a production run leaving less uh, room for error in the whole process in aim any changes to the original specifications are made digitally reducing the modification cost to as if the desired result so traditional de uh, design modification are generally more expensive to undertake so obviously uh, ob if we compare with traditional manufacturing there will be generally more expensive it will be more expensive so in that case uh, uh, additive manufacturing is better so second point is customization AM manufacturing offers design innovations and creative freedom without the cost and time constraint of traditional manufacturing. So, if a company give you a model and uh, after some time that company comes and tell you that uh, to uh, means edit that uh, model, you can easily go to the CAD model and edit that model and after that you can uh, take a print out of it. So, customization is possible in uh, additive manufacturing it is very easy customization means customization will be very easy in 3d printing so am manufacturing offers design innovations and creative freedom without the cost and time constraint of traditional manufacturing the ability easily alter original specifications means that additive manufacturing offer greater opportunity for businesses to provide customized design to their clients with the ease of digitally adjust design, product customization become a simple proposition. 
Short production runs are then easily tailored to specific needs. So, according to your need, according to your design, you can customize any anything you can customize. Okay. So, customizations is possible in additive manufacturing. Now, third point is your energy saving. So, obviously, in conventional manufacturing, machineries and equipment often requires auxiliary tools that have greater energy needs. So, obviously, in conventional many, uh, co conventional manufacturing, you know that we have to use any type of tools, uh, raw materials. So, that will be avoided in this additive manufacturing. Additive manufacturing use fewer resources, having less need for ancillary equipment and thereby reducing manufacturing waste material. Then AM reduce the number of raw material need to manufacture a product. As such, there is a lower energy consumption associated with raw material extraction and AM has a fewer energy needs overall. So obviously, energy saving will be possible in additive manufacturing. Now, third, fourth one is your environmental benefit. The environmental benefit of additive manufacturing are an advantages to business seeking to improve manufacturing sustainability. So, obviously, what happen in environmental is that we can um, get the benefit or take an advantages of business seeking to improve our machining or manufacturing sustainability. Then AM offer many positive environmental benefits in comparison to traditional manufacturing. The most notable of which are waste reduction and energy uh, saving. So obviously in uh, 3D printing there will be no uh, criteria for waste. So uh, waste, okay, waste product there will be no criteria. Means there will be a waste reduction. Then whatever we will create there will be a waste reduction and energy saving. Why energy saving? Because you are not taking any type of tool. Okay, here. So, that will consume more energy. So, that will from that we will know that the, this most notable for waste reduction and energy saving. The process of additive manufacturing compared to traditional manufacturing are more efficient and significantly reduce the environmental impact of waste products. So, we were uh, obviously uh, as we whenever we compare it to the conventional machining what will happen we will our impact means environmental impact of waste product is reduced okay then aim offers greater material efficiency because it only uses what is needed to create a product so whatever model you have uh, designed according to that the uh, 